Hi, this is Annie Grace, the author of This Naked Mind, and today I am answering readers' questions. And today I have a question from Sam. Sam says, Annie, I am so much enjoying your online program so far. However, in your messages, you claim it can take up to 10 days for alcohol to clear the body. I've heard that the liver metabolizes one ounce of alcohol per hour. I actually experienced up to 10 days because that's how long it took for my withdrawal symptoms to get over. But again, I've heard that it takes one hour to process one unit. So it must mean that somehow I didn't have any alcohol in my body when I was experiencing withdrawals. So if a person drank a bottle of wine and that was 10 units, then 10 hours after the last drink, the alcohol should have in theory left the body. Can you explain the difference between the two statements? What am I missing? Is it the cumulative factor? So Sam, that's such a great, great, um, question so yeah that's exactly it is like alcohol metabolizes by the liver which means that's how long the liver takes to detox it from your bloodstream so what that means is you're intoxicated so your mind is impaired and alcohol impairs your mind and as your liver detoxifies it from your bloodstream and metabolizes it it no longer impairs your mind, and so you're no longer drunk. And that's why it's so prevalent, one unit per hour, that's how long it takes until you can drive again or until you're not drunk anymore. And so if you drink a bottle of wine, you know it's 10, whatever it is. So that is really just about intoxication specifically. Now, if we're talking about alcohol leaving your system, it takes much longer than that, um, sometimes up to 72 hours, and then it can stay in things like you know, different hair tests or urine tests for even longer than that. So how long alcohol can be traced in your system is quite a long time. But then there's a third component to this, and that's how long it takes your body to regain normalcy after you stop drinking alcohol. You see what happens is you've actually been putting alcohol into your body and alcohol does a few things. It depresses your nervous system and so your senses feel things slower. It in turn increases things like adrenaline and cortisol in your body. But if we just take the depressing of the nervous system, for example, um, you continue to drink, alcohol does this, you drink every day, alcohol continues to do this, your body has actually decided that uh, this is what tolerance is, is your body says, okay, I need to accommodate for the fact that you're always drinking alcohol. I need to adjust my normal levels of certain chemicals and hormones in the body in order to accommodate for the fact that there's this constant influx of alcohol into the body. So what happens is you add alcohol into the body here, your body slowly starts to accommodate and this is tolerance and then this goes up and up and up, right? So you become more and more tolerant, you drink more alcohol, your body accommodates, you drink more alcohol, your body accommodates. If you just take alcohol away, guess what? you are still producing all of these counter chemicals to alcohol, the adrenaline, the cortisol, stuff like this. So you're going to have withdrawal symptoms until your body says, okay, is this for real? Are we really not ingesting alcohol anymore? So there's going to be a few days of confusion, and then it's going to slowly bring you back to normal overall. And that process can take up to 10 days. And actually, and I'm just going to read something because I think it's worth getting this really accurately. Um, it says alcohol withdrawal symptoms usually occur within eight hours after the last drink, but can occur days later. And they usually peak 22 to 72 hours, but can go on for weeks. So that withdrawal process is your body recalibrating itself, regaining homeostasis. And that's what can take a week to 10 days. That's when alcohol really, you know, not only leaves your system physically, but leaves your system in the sense that your system has recalibrated to normal and your system is finally kind of at homeostasis. And it can take longer depending how long you've drank and we're all different right we're all different weights and heights and you know we metabolize things differently so there isn't kind of a one size fits all here but it is worth talking about some of the symptoms that that withdrawal process has um, anxiety depression tiredness irritability jumpiness or shakiness and that's because you've been depressing your nervous system for so long your body has had to put in these like stimulants adrenaline, cortisol, other stimulants to counteract that depression. And so when you take that depression away and the stimulants are up here, all of a sudden you're jumpy, you're shaky, you're anxious, you're irritable, you can't sleep at night. That's because these stimulants are still going as if you're drinking this much and there's no alcohol. And so your body just takes some time to readjust to that. So um, that is such a good question. It's such a good kind of uh, delineation. So the body metabolizing it so that you're no longer drunk or intoxicated versus the body regaining homeostasis and actually purging itself 
to where it was before you were drinking at all. So thank you so much, Sam. Wonderful question and have a great day. This has been Annie Grace with This Naked Mind Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. You can learn more at thisnakedmind.com. And please remember to rate, review, and subscribe as it really helps us spread the word.